Hey guys, it's Karen Coffey and welcome to The Art of Making Agents Wealthy. Today we're going to be talking about how your business is a business. Is it a business? Is it a hobby? And what does your bank account say? Let's go, let's go, take it to the top and we don't stop cause it's now or never. Let's go, let's go, take it to the top and we don't stop cause it's now this is about is your business a hobby and what does your bank account say you know we always talk about we always talk about run your business like a business run your business like a business and we don't really talk about what that looks like we don't define it you know to me having a business is having a consistent income having an income that provides for you your family being able to take time off leveraging that making a machine out of what it is that you have created and again having high income come into your business not you know thirty thousand dollars a year not a hundred thousand dollars a year you know when i started looking at the real estate industry that just didn't make sense to me at all and i'm thinking there has got to be a better way i mean there just has to be a better way of doing this and i looked at conventional wisdom Conventional wisdom says what? Be available 24-7, chase after listings and buyers and sellers and be available. I've got a quick question for you guys. Who was the first agent? And I'm gonna call him a jack wagon agent that said that was a good idea. To be, how professional was that? To be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I just don't get it. So conventional wisdom says, cold call, door knock, be available 24 uh, seven, attack and, and um, you know, maul your friends and family, get pissed when they don't buy or sell with you. Uh, <laughs> you know, get on Facebook and just always, and here I am on Facebook, but um, get on Facebook and, you know, always be talking about your new listings and things like that. I don't think that makes sense, guys. And so I'm here to tell you if you're doing those things, you may have a hobby. I feel like Jeff Foxworthy, you know, you may be a redneck when. You may have a real estate hobby if, I should probably go through those things. If you're working 24 seven, if you make less than 100 grand a year, if you um, are on track to make less than 100 grand, I'm gonna requalify that. But I wanna tell you that when you make the decision, when you make the decision to run your business like a business, you will begin to make every decision a business decision what does that mean it means that you're not just fly by night you're not just taking uh, advice from somebody in your office that made thirty thousand dollars last year you are actually being serious you're showing up you are making it happen you have a system you have a machine you have something that works for you when you're not even in it so I found that the only thing that is keeping most agents from running their business like a business is fear. What do I mean by that? Fear is maybe I'm really gonna have to show up and do the work. Maybe I can't be a victim anymore. Maybe my story and my excuses aren't gonna work any longer. I can't blame this on anybody else if I run this like a business. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to be accountable. Maybe I'm gonna have to be accountable to my friends, family, everyone that I have mentioned that I am running a business now, that I am serious about this. You know, when you decided to get into real estate, probably somebody was telling you, um, you know, oh, you'd be great at it, you have a great personality. You went and got your license, it was a low entry level to get your license and create this business. You probably wanted to create more income, more freedom for your life, and what you found out is, man it's it's not as easy as everybody thinks it's not just show up and people are going to throw you business you really have to show up so the first thing i want to talk about one of the things you might be saying is well karen you know that's great for you to run your business like a business or um you know not to have the fear of running your business because you maybe fill in the blank you don't have small children well i used to and that was one of my biggest years ever. Uh, you have money. Well, if you know my story, homeless to $103,000 in 100 days. So I 
kind of blew through that excuse too. You don't have the husband or the family or the wife that I have. Oh, let me tell you, yes, I did. Anything that you have been going through, I'm not going to say that I have been through everything, but chances are myself or someone else, some other top producing agent has been through it. There are no excuses. There is only self-discipline, self-discipline and you moving through that fear. So you may, you know, what could happen if you did move through that fear? What could you accomplish? That may be a question you want to answer for yourself today. So the first thing I want to do is kind of go through things about what a business is not. A business is not working 60 hours a week, first of all. It is absolutely not working 60 hours a week. Like I said, if you're working that much, that's crazy. It's not professional. It is not um, positioning you as an expert or a professional in your marketplace. It is possession, uh, positioning you as desperate and someone that really probably isn't that great what they do because they have to work 24 seven. Now, if that is you, it doesn't mean you're not, uh, let me rephrase, maybe you're great at what you do, but you don't have business smarts. Maybe you're thinking, I have to work this much because I have to grab everything. What if you were able to actually have a standard in which people actually saw you as that professional and they reached out to you, you started attracting more of that. So it is not about you working 24 seven. And I want you to write this down. The less I work, the more I make. If you're one of my clients, you already know, write this down. They already write this down. The less I work, the more I make. It doesn't mean that in the next 90 days, you're going to be able to take exotic vacations. It means for the next 90 days, you might have to really dig deep and put down some systems, create a systemized uh, way of doing business. All right. But it is about you working 20 to 30 hours when you own a business, a true business. Remember, you have leveraged a machine that works whether you're in it or not. So that's the first thing that a business is not. It's not about working 60 hours a week. You know, you hear about franchise owners working 60 hours a week. They hire incorrectly. They have to show up at all hours of the day and night to make that business happen. I don't want that for you. I want you to have a real leveraged business that you can take care of your parents if they're ill. Go to Europe for a month. Take some time off. If you just need to relax, it's okay. So the second thing a business is not is cold calling and door knocking. All right? Conventional wisdom will say this is a great thing to do. Well, conventional wisdom, I think, is just another way of keeping you conventional. It is an old way, and we want to do things a new way in which you are getting the results that you deserve, the money that you deserve, and so cold calling and door knocking is not it. Now, if that is your thing, go for it. Have at it. If you're good at it, fantastic. I'm not saying that there aren't agents out there that haven't done a wonderful business doing it. I know that they have, but at what cost? So I'm going to ask you if that is something that you do, that you like to do, that you want to do, at what cost is it costing you personally? Is it costing you your authentic self? Are you being salesy? Do you have this commission breath when you're knocking on doors or cold calling? What's the ultimate price to you when you're doing that? What is the stress to you when you're doing that? So I want you to question everything you've been taught. I want you to look at what others are telling you and kind of, yeah, there's some great ways of doing things, but we can't do a hundred shiny objects at the same time. And we'll get to that in just a little bit. I'll want to go dig deeper into that in just a bit. But the agents that go through our program, they don't do that. They don't cold call, they don't door knock, and they're closing four transactions, eight transactions, 16 transactions a month. We just had, this is pretty exciting, we just had another 100K and 100 day recipient in our program, and she actually did it in 90 days. From the day that she joined our program, and I think it was April, so May, June, July, yep, it was the end of April, she uh, had closed one transaction for the year, and that was, you know, she was on a team, and that was all that she had done. And she joined our program, the Making Agents Wealthy program, and she has closed a hundred. It was a hundred, exactly a hundred thousand four hundred ninety-seven dollars from the time she started 
to the end of July. So last week she got her 100K and 100 day award. And this is not uncommon. It's just systems, it's just step by step. So she may have had some magic, but it wasn't through the old fashioned ideas. You can't listen to 30K earners and learn how to make 250K in a year. She's on track to do 10 million in volume between now and the end of the year. And for the next 12 months, she will absolutely be on her way to half a million. So that is the second way. We don't follow conventional wisdom. That is not a business owner. We want you not to have to do it the old way. So the third thing that is not being a business owner, you don't have to have a big social media following. Now, I know for some of you, you're like, wow, you know, the, the social media is where it's at. And maybe it is at some point, but it is not the way you don't have to have a big social media following. You don't have to have a big database to make great money. So what we, what I, what all of us want for you is for you to make great money. We're not huge. We don't have a huge following. We don't have, our agents don't have huge following. Uh, most millionaires don't have huge social media followings. They have great businesses. They're not in social media all the time showing up. As you know, I don't spam my list. I don't, you hardly ever hear from me. I have a big database. I don't, that's not what I focus on as far as getting business. For you as an agent, you don't really have to do that. So I don't want you to think you may be a new agent or you just may really stink at building databases and uh, social media following. I think you should have one, but you don't have to have one, and that is my point. So one of the things that I've learned is that when other agents are zigging, you need to zag. When they're doing going one way, you need to do something else. Everything that I want for you is to, there's a great book called Blue Ocean, and it's about you don't want to be in the red ocean of competition. That's where the sharks are and the blood. But you want to be in the blue ocean. When everybody gets to the red, it's already passed. It's time for you to get to something else. So you can make great money without a huge database and without a huge social media following. And I don't know what other proof I need to give you other than the results that we're seeing every day of the businesses that we're building our agents are bringing in thirty, fifty thousand dollars a month, some under six figures for the month. I didn't say a year, I said a month. So if that's what you want, it's not that complicated, it's not simple, but I apologize, it's not easy. I'm gonna say it's hard as hell, but it's simple. It is step by step, and it's not coaching in a can, it is not how many calls did you make, how many appointments, uh, how many networking events did you go to? It's just a step-by-step -step process that spits out a high income result at the end of a month. So you can't snap your fingers and have a high income business. It is hard. Even with us holding her hand and our agent's hand, even with us, I was just talking about the 100K to 100 day recipient. Even with that, it's not easy. Our clients still have objections. They still have challenges, but we work together. We hold their hand to make sure and we coach them through it. So it's never easy doing something extraordinary. I just want you to know that. You have to have help. None of us were just born to do extraordinary things, but what we do is help you through the learning curve. So the last point I'm going to make, the last thing that is not a business and is more like a hobby owner is buying every shiny object out there. You're getting a lead from here, you're getting leads from there, you're buying this Facebook advertising, you're buying this zip code marketing program. That is the fourth point that is not being a business owner. You can't do that. You need, some, you need exactly step one, step two, step three. It's like baking a cake. Every recipe, every ingredient is in that cake. If you don't follow it, what happens to the case? It explodes. It's just not going to work. So this is the time where I want you to look at your ingredients. Do you have all the right ingredients? What goes in first? What goes in second? You don't put the frosting in with the eggs, right? If you do, it's going to it's going to be disgusting. 
So it's almost like, I love the story, Mrs. Fields has a great cookie recipe, right? And if you don't follow that recipe and the cookies are terrible, whose fault is it? Is it your fault or is it Mrs. Fields? It comes back to you. I want you to have every ingredient. So don't be buying just arbitrarily this database, this, that. It is everything stacked one on top of another on top of another that makes the successes that we see every single day. So fourth point, don't buy every shiny object out there. Be very systematic in what you purchase, making sure that they, they build one on top of another. So stop getting ready to get ready, guys. Take yourself out of fear. If you are thinking that you need a beautiful website, if you are thinking you need a bigger list, if you think you need another social media follower, you're in fear. You're procrastinating. You're holding yourself back. You're thinking that you're not enough. And meanwhile, listen to me. Meanwhile, there are people out there that need you. And they don't need that other agent. They need you. You got into this business for a reason. You have a gift. You have something that other people saw that you're very, very good at. You have gifts I'll never have and vice versa. And it's okay because you are special. You are just the way, not that special, but you know, you are special. You have a gift. Meanwhile, all these people out there while you're getting ready to get ready are not being helped by you. They're being helped by Predators, and you know who I'm talking about, those agents in your marketplace that are absolute predators, and they are harming our industry more than they're helping. Maybe they're making great money, maybe they're not. But stop getting ready to get ready. Stop trying to get a bigger following. Stop trying to get more Zillow testimonials. Just get out there and start working. That's what a business owner does. And you will make great money, and you will have freedom even though that is not the primary reason for doing what you're doing. Your primary reason for doing what you're doing, guys, is to help other people. And you can call it woo-woo, wishy-washy, whatever you want. But when it comes down to the end of the day, who can you help? What is the result that you're going to give them? It is all about the result. It is not about anything else for them. What result can you give them? Look, they have a problem. You have a solution. And, oh, by the way, you're going to hold their hand through the whole process. Hold their hand through the whole process. So again, find those people and let them know, look, you have this problem, you have this challenge, I can fix it better than anybody else. And P.S., I'm going to hold your hand through the whole process completely. How is that going to make them feel? So it's all about the result. That's what the boils down to. It's the result that you can give and the experience that you can give your clients. So maybe you don't know what your value is. Maybe you don't know how to do that. Well, that's the first thing that we work with you on at Making Agents Wealthy. And I want to invite you, I want you to consider making an, an appointment to have a call with us because that is the first thing that we work with. It's not about uh, building anything other than what you need in your business. We reach out and talk with I have hundreds of agents every month, and it's not about how many people come to work with us. It's about who we can help. Maybe you do have this fear. Maybe you do have this challenge, and we want to help you through it. So consider just reaching out to my team. It is at karencoffee.com forward slash apply. That is how you can look into going over how you can create a business. What are the right steps for you? Are you in fear or are you not? Maybe you're not. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Are you working in a difficult market and you want some ideas on how to really break through and shine? That's what we do every single day, and we're seeing those results, like I mentioned. So it all starts with that, and I want you to be very cognizant about what's next for you. You know, these people are waiting for you. They're waiting for you to work for them. What's holding you back? Um, you know, I don't want, right now many of you have this mentality of, I have to take every lead, I have to take every buyer, I have to take every seller, I have to work with everyone that reaches out to me. 
because you don't know where your next lead, you don't know where your next deal, where your next closing is coming from. You're feeling very stressed because you don't know where your next deal is coming from. And I don't want that for you. I want you to be able to pick and choose who you work with. Am I going to work with those who are committed, who are coachable, who will do what I say and then leave me fantastic testimonials afterwards? I only want to work with those people. That's what I want for you. I want you to be able to pick and choose. That's what having a business is about. It is not having to take everything that comes to you. And you guys know there's some jerks out there. They are controlling the transaction. They're controlling you. I call it the tail wagging the dog. Don't let that happen. That's not a business. That is a hobby. Gosh, I could go on for so long, but I want to be respectful of your time. So I want you to just really feel into how would it feel if you were working with the right people, they were paying you the right price, and you could work with them at any time. You could attract them at any time. All you do is flip the switch, you create the machine, and they come. It's not just one, two, or three systems. It's many different systems that you put together that creates this hurricane of lead flow. Our agents get between 100 and 150 new leads a month. And so if you just kind of want to dip your toe in, see what's going on, I encourage you to book a call with us. And it is Karen Coffee. K-A-R-E-N, and coffee is spelled a little different. You can probably see from my page, C-O-F-F-E-Y dot com forward slash apply, A-P-P-L-Y, apply. So guys, look, I need you to be 100% honest with yourself. Um, I'm just going to check my phone here for just a moment. We're good on time. But I want you to be 100% honest with yourself and Is your business a hobby right now? What does your bank account say right now? Are you committed to changing it? Wherever you're at, whatever challenge, what is, we are seeing, we call it half a million in half the time. We are seeing 250. If you just want to make 150, hey, that's great. I don't know how to help you close one or two transactions a month. I just don't know how to do it. I know how to help you add three to four to what you're currently doing right now, eight and 16. We do it day in and day out, and I see, it makes me cry, actually. The results that we see, it, keep, it makes me emotional because it is not information. It is not about information, it is about transformation. We have been in an industry that has truly done us a disservice. It's information, 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 lead gen, commission breath, go after it, um, kill yourself, <laughs> door knock, cold call, work 60 hours a week, 24-7. 24/7. And that is not what it's about. Guys, I want a transformation in your life, and I see it every single day, and it, all of us here see it. It's not just me. It's not just me coaching you. It's it's. Kelly, it's Jennifer, it's Ava, it's Ke another Karen, it's uh, Pam, it's Jane, it's all of us coming together and working with you. So reach out, get into KarenCoffee.com, apply, pick out a time that works for you. We do have folks, um, you know, that have appointments tomorrow, Saturday, uh, next week. You know, get on the phone, speak to them about what is challenging you. Find out what's the fastest way for you to get where you want to get. You know, what are the points that you need to implement and get really shored up? It is about shoring up that foundation and making sure that you're making a minimum, minimum 150. If you're already there, let's get to the 250. Let's get to the half a million. Let's get to the million. Those that are closing just under six figures, 88000 a month is a million dollars a year, and they're doing it. I want to be, I'm not going to say again that it's easy, but it is simple. It is very, very simple. All right. We want to fix all those little problems for you. So I want you to work with us at Making Agents Wealthy. Again, if you can, we work with you on your mindset, your marketing. I'm just going to, uh, your marketing, your uh, scripts, your conversations. I hate calling them scripts because it's not a script at all. It's a conversation your lead flow, your lead funnel, your leveraging, 
all of that is so simple. We do it every single day. Go ahead and book a call, karencoffee.com forward slash apply, and let's answer your questions on the line. And I really appreciate you guys showing up today. Run your business like a business. Get out of the hobby business. Let's make that quarter of a million, half a million, even if you think that is a crazy, crazy amount of money right now. I want you to just own it. Just own that you can do this and you can and we see it every day. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for showing up and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.